as I'm doing some research in Denton County, I noticed this entry in an 1876, 77, 78 book about the schools that were established in Denton County. And one of them is the Hickory Colored School. You can see it right here, Hickory Colored School. That was established on the 31st of August, 1878 in this book. So I decided, let's go find Hickory Colored. So what I do in order to find a map, because that's the best way to find places that you don't know much about, is I go to the portal to Texas history, which is texashistory.unt.edu, and I typed in Denton County. And I typed under maps is what I'm looking for. So I do a search. So this one here between 1870 in 1889 says that there are some bodies of water roads railroad tracks and towns that are marked so I decided to look that up go check out this map you can click on it and actually zoom and try to find Hickory now I have to orient myself so here's Denton so let's go over to here's Alton and oh my gosh here is Hickory on the J Maloney survey close to Hickory Creek it's also along a road that meets uh, Louisville and goes all the way to Denton and then over into Montague County. So it's an old road as well. So there is Hickory. So I decide to find out if Hickory has been noted in the Texas State Historical Association's website, which um, is pretty much an encyclopedia of all of Texas. So I type in Hickory. Hickory in the search and this comes up with Hickory Creek, Denton County, Hickory Creek, Texas or Hickory Forest, Texas. So I'm going to hit Hickory Creek, Denton County and it tells you about the Hickory Creek and that it's near Old Alton but that's about it. It doesn't tell you anything more. So I'm wondering if Hickory is a Freedmen's community. So I decide to find out if it's still around. So I go back to the portal of Texas history, do my search for Denton County, and then I look for um, maps that are a little bit older to see if it's still around. And I love the soil maps because they are very detailed. So I click on a soil map from 1918, click on um, make it larger and then do a zoom. Here's Denton, so let's orient ourselves. Here is Missouri-Kansas, Texas line. You know that it's just a, that's a little farther east than where it was. So here's Alton. Here's Hickory Creek, but there is no longer a Hickory area. There's no longer a little um, place. I'm believing it might be this area right here that you're seeing with my mouse, but other than that, it is gone. In the 1980s, the Louisville Public Library did a series of oral histories of people who had lived in the Louisville area for several years. And one of them, for Laura Brantley Brown, explains that a place uh, near Hickory Creek was a place where there were lots of sharecropping units that were actually owned by the U.S. government, most likely a WPA project. And that's what I'm thinking what happened to the community of Hickory. Um, it says that now it is under Louisville Lake. Um, this is yet another reason why we should all love librarians, because librarians are the ones who put these oral histories together.